Scouts, Betsy Nichols here, Program Specialist for the Girl Scouts of Minnesota and Wisconsin Lakes and Pines, returning to you from Duluth, Minnesota. This video is part three of four for the Daisy Think Like an Engineer journey. Today I will be guiding you through the third design challenge, but first let's get started with the Girl Scout Promise and the Girl Scout Law. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Great. So the name of this design challenge is called Cross a Canyon. Today we will be building a structure that helps us cross from one side of a canyon to the other. To complete this challenge we need to look for a couple things around our homes. So we are looking for straws, popsicle sticks, toothpicks, construction paper or newspaper, toilet paper rolls, paper clips, and masking tape or duct tape. So those are the supplies that we need to find. Um, I'm going to take a moment to look around my home and see how close I can get to this list. Why don't you take a moment to do the same? And as always, remember, it's okay if you don't have everything on this list. And while you are collecting items, make sure you have permission for whatever you are hoping to use. So I will take a moment to find my supplies and I will be right back. I am back with my supplies. This is what I was able to round up. I have four reusable straws. I have some newspaper and some white printer paper. I didn't have any popsicle sticks or toothpicks, so I grabbed a handful of Q-tips. I think that might be a nice substitution. I have a paper towel, uh, a toilet paper roll, some washi tape, and then a pair of scissors. So I'm sitting like this because this is my canyon setup. I have two chairs that are facing back to back from each other, so I am going to try to build something that will get uh, someone from this side of my canyon to this side of my canyon. So you will need to create a setup similar to this. It doesn't have to be chairs. This is just what I had available. Now it's suggested that you start off with your canyon being two inches apart. Um, but if that feels too easy for you, then you can definitely make it a farther distance, maybe six inches, maybe a foot. So that is up to you and it also depends on what kind of supplies you have available. So I'm gonna start with my chairs about this far apart. Um, that looks to be about a foot. So that's what I'm going to work with. So I am going to start designing and building and I will check in with you when I am done with my Canyon Crosser. I am back with my finished Canyon Crosser. I decided to go with a bridge to cross my canyon. Maybe you did something different like a zip line or a hang glider. Uh, this is the design that I went with. And so what I did was I used my straws as the edges. So I taped two together here and two together there so that they will stretch the length of the canyon. And then um, to keep them the same distance apart from each other, I made these little spacers out of the toilet paper rolls, so that's keeping them the same distance apart all the way down um, both sides. For the inside of my bridge, I used um, newspaper. I folded it up a couple times to make it nice and thick and so that it would match the width of my bridge. And then to keep it from moving back and forth, I taped down the newspaper on both sides of my canyon uh, so that it would feel a little bit more secure. So I have a little model here. Here's a tiny little stuffed elephant. If I'm walking him across the bridge, looks like he is doing a good job. The bridge is supporting him. 
so I'm really happy with how that turned out. So there you have it. That concludes our third and final design challenge of this journey. Um, if you stop here, then you will have done what you need to do to earn your Think Like an Engineer badge. Um, if you come back next week, we will be talking about how we can take the badge work that we just did and turn it into a take action project so that you will have earned your entire Think Like an Engineer journey. I want to thank you so much for joining me today and I would just like to end things with the Make New Friends song and a friendship circle. So sing it with me. Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other's gold. A circle is round, it has no end. That's how long I want to be your friend. Bye Girl Scouts.